Hello and welcome to Bullion RV. My name is Tristan and behind me here are two Mantis from Taxa Outdoors. These are both standard editions and we also do have some Overland editions. Now, not only that, we also carry the Wooly Bear, the Cricket, the Tiger Moth, and as you see behind me, the Mantis, all from Tax Outdoors. If you'd like to learn more about those smaller units, please feel free to call me. Otherwise, the biggest unit they carry right here is the Tax Outdoors Mantis. And again, this is a standard edition. Comes in at 19 feet long and weighs just under 3,000 pounds dry. Yes, so if you have a mid-sized truck or SUV, depending on the make and model, you'll be more than capable of towing this. You won't need a gigantic bulldozer of a truck to pull this seeing that it's only sitting on that single axle and has such a light weight otherwise start up front here we got two 20 pound propane tanks you got a manual jack tongue right there so i'm gonna have to put some muscle behind that which allows you a little bit of flexibility in case you want to pivot this in a different position if you get enough people it's easy to move right here is going to be your cassette toilet I'll show you that on the inside but we want to take that out Pull it out of there, you can dump it essentially anywhere, um, including like a gas station restroom if need be. All right, so here's gonna be your hookups. We you have your fresh water inlet here. To fill that tank, it's gonna be 20 gallons of fresh water over there. Your shore power. And then you have space for two batteries on the inside. We'll send you off with one, but if you wanna trickle charge that with the solar panel, you can plug that in right there. And here's gonna be the drain for your 22 gallons of gray water. Otherwise, the standard edition features 15 inch aluminum alloy wheels with these all terrain tires. All the Tax Outdoor products have these Meteor tires. And with it, again, being a standard model, you do get a torsion axle suspension for those tires. Up top here, you got your 8000 BTU AC. So you just push that out from the inside after you open that hatch and you have power, you can run your AC. One last thing I'll touch on, you have an outdoor shower right here for your hot and cold baths. Whether you're taking them, you're just washing your dog off, anything of that nature. Up top, you do have your Thule bars. So whether or not you can fit two bikes up there, it'll be pretty easy, but if you wanna bring four people on a camping trip, because that's how many people that this holds between two in this back bed and two up there, you're gonna want some extra storage. You can throw your bikes up top or up there. On the back side here, these storage racks also act as steps, again, to get up to your bikes, like so. Otherwise, in transit, you can put some NATO cans here in case you're really trying to boondock, store your water there. On the bottom, you have a full-size spare tire, same make as the ones on the sides. Let's get your those done. All you got to do is use the same tool to get your tire down. The windows all have day and night shades. I'll just show you in this one. That's acting as our awning back here. Your day shade, your night shade, and then you can also open it. And it opens out so you can have it open in case there's a slight rain. You can continually get fresh air into your unit. There also is an eight foot awning on this unit. And now let's climb inside. So as I was talking about earlier, again, if you had four people coming, you can put two of their bikes here, two on the back rack. And then when it comes to entertaining and sleeping your guests, the simple move, this carabiner, you have a couch. Obviously it lessens up on storage, but then when it comes to bedtime, the manufacturer of this was 190 pounds and he said he could sleep on this. And you got another little bunk bed right here. Granted, maybe you don't want to put the biggest person here, seeing that it's a smaller spot to sleep but you could do so if need be. Otherwise, the rest of the unit here, here's your kitchen. You get two storage towers that have these milk crates in them, which I don't know, people may make fun of you, but the thing is I've never seen one of these broken before. They're quite structurally sound in terms of being universal, whether you're gonna hold something in them or take it out and use that as a bench or a seat outside. Otherwise, your wet bath is gonna be right here flip up this lid, put this down, make sure it doesn't come down on you. So you have a toilet right there that again goes to your cassette toilet or box essentially. There's, that's gonna be your curtain. You're gonna hook up up top here. So you want some privacy when you're using the restroom or taking a shower, you'll have that. Otherwise your canopy 
has four different windows. I only have two open, but when you're standing up here, when you're not 5'6 like me, you basically have a 365 degree field of view. And when you want some privacy, just zip those back on up. And very easy to take up and take down. Just make sure your canopy's on the inside. As you pull this strap right here to bring it down, and then you just latch these hooks. Here's gonna be a lot of your controls for your lights, if you can see that. And then you're gonna have more over here. This unit features a Truma um, hot water heater and furnace. So whether you're camping in colder weather, you can turn that on to heat everything up, or if you wanna take a hot bath, or use some hot water washing your hands after making dinner or lunch, you can do so right there. The kitchen features obviously this sink and two burner gas stove top separated before other units they were combined and now they're taken apart and then when you're not using it you're just making a sandwich you have plenty of counter space here and obviously right next to it to do that spice rack behind your ac in transit is going to be in pretty easy all you do is take out those pins and push it back and then when you get to your campsite obviously pull those pins back out and push it out Across from your kitchen, a lot of times it's seen as a serving area. Go cook food right here, and then pass it out the window right here to your campsite. More storage, garbage can for camping cleanly and bringing everything back that you brought out there. Some units do feature generally a cooler right there. Otherwise you got a nice big universal space to put essentially anything, whether that's your hunting bags, fishing gear, you name it. And then the main bed is gonna be this dinette back here. So when you're not eating supper right here, sitting around the table, playing cards on a rainy day, you take off the top, put the pole underneath, and take the pad from over here and make a nice big full-size bed. And let's say that's not enough storage for you between your tow vehicle and the other cabinets. There's storage all throughout this rear bed as well. Like so. So in short, this is the 2022 Taxa Outdoor Mantis. If you have any questions about this unit, please feel free to call me, Tristan, at 218-336-3622, any time of day or night, or send me a text message, and I'll respond as soon as I can. Always have a great rest of your day, and I look forward to seeing you guys here at Bullion RV. Take care, bye-bye.